Hey, homeowners in the woodlands, the real estate market report for July 2022 is in, and you're going to want to check this out because we are noticing some things changing from last month and the rest of the year. So let's dive in. So last month we had 261 new listings hit the market, which is down 22.78% year over year. Not really surprising. That's been the trend for the last two years. However, it's also dropped from the peak in June. 139 homes under contract. That has also continued its downward trend from the peak in May. And 181 homes sold, which unsurprisingly, down year over year, 41.8%. So sales are definitely slowing down at a much faster rate. Um, and they are also down from their peak in June. The average sales price was $653,473, which surprisingly is also down year over year, 0.021%. And when you do the math, it comes out to be $137 less than last month or last year, I'm sorry. Now, there's not really a whole lot to read into that because one month doesn't define a trend. And it's not like we haven't seen a decline in year over year values. Most recently, November, 2021, we also had a decline year over year. So one month, does not define a trend and it's not anything to really look into. More likely than not, it's got to do with fewer million dollar properties selling. We had only about 11 or 12 sell last month compared to anywhere in the 20s and 30s over the rest of the year. The average days on market remained pretty low, 11 days on market, and the list price to sales price ratio was 101.73%. So of those 181 homes that sold, they received on average 1.73% more than what they were listed for. And that just goes to show this market is still trending up. Now we did have the highest number of price reductions for the year so far at 180 108 homes reducing their price, which is up 47.95% from June and a whopping 191% year to date. Now, this also isn't really anything to read into as far as how it's going to affect home values overall. What we are seeing is there are a lot of sellers out there that are still trying to price their homes as if it's 2021 and it's just not working in today's market and they are learning the hard way. But another thing to look at is the agents that are pricing these homes because there's a lot of them that aren't doing a good job of articulating the change in this market and they are afraid if they tell the sellers the truth they're not going to get that listing. So they just tell them a high price in hopes of securing that listing. So you want to make sure if you are interviewing one agent, get a second opinion. And if you are interviewing multiple agents and you've got, let's say two or three agents right around the same price and one agent that's way out in left field, there's a reason for that. And you may not want to go with that agent. The 30 year fixed averaged 5.41% in July, and that is starting to come down as the Fed starts getting a better hold on inflation. In fact, the first week of August, the 30 year fixed averaged about 4.99%. So that's even lower starting out in August than it was in July. Now we may see those rates come back up because uh, the Fed is planning on raising rates at least two or three more times before the end of the year. So we may see those rates start coming back up. I think they are going to hold steady in the low fives. We're probably not going to get back up to 6% again at the end of the year. So there you have it, your July 2022 market update for the Woodlands, Texas. If you have any questions about your particular neighborhood or your home's value, or you're curious about what else is going on in the area, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. I'd be more than happy to help.